my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel where we are talking all things clean, natural, and organic beauty. This is my kickoff video. I am new to YouTube. This is a new channel. And in today's video, I thought we could get to know each other. I thought I could do an introduction to myself, to this channel, what I hope it will be, and why I have decided after years of being a traditional beauty junkie to transition completely to the world of clean, natural, and organic beauty. I definitely love makeup and it was definitely a hard decision to kind of decide that I want to transition into a whole new sphere and space and makeup, but I think it's an important decision. I'm glad I've made it and I'm happy to have you guys on the journey with me. Uh, I don't want to ramble on too much. I think we should just go ahead and get started. We're going to jump back to before I had finished my look and we're going to get to know each other. All right, y'all, like I said, I'm just gonna start getting ready and chatting and introducing myself. I'm going to start with the Zederma Clarifying Cream Cleanser, which I use as a primer. It's really good and it's awesome skincare. And I'll just introduce myself. I think the first thing I want you guys to know is that I am a proud Texan. Um, I'm actually a fifth generation Texan. So what that means is that my family was actually living in Mexico, outside El Paso which was a part of Mexico. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure how familiar you guys are with Texas history, but Texas was a part of Mexico and they fought for independence. And my family was living in Mexico, in El Paso. Uh, so when the borders changed and Texas became its own country, they just didn't leave. So my family has always been in Texas technically, and I'm still here. I'm in Dallas though. I love Dallas, I love Texas. Um, I'm really passionate about my state and our history. Uh, so next I'm going with my Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. Anyway, so I'm here in Dallas, Texas. I have um, a husband who I love. We actually just got married not too long ago. So we are newlyweds living in an apartment uh, in the Metroplex. And we are house hunting. We've got some other stuff going on with that though. So uh, we're happy to stay in our apartment it might be easier to stay in our apartment for another year, but we have been house hunting, which has been stressful. And we rescued a sweet little kitty. She's actually sitting at my feet, uh, sleeping in a box. She's a rescue cat and she loves to sleep in boxes and on top of plastic or paper bags. So we don't know a lot about what her life was like before she came to live with us, uh, but she loves boxes. I mean, we bought her a cat bed and everything, but she prefers the boxes that come from Costco. So every time we go to Costco, we'll save some for her for a little bit. There's two boxes that she loves to the point where we just couldn't recycle them. So we just have some boxes sitting in corners that she loves and they're her little houses and beds, so we can't get rid of them. Uh, and that's like kind of my day to day. I don't want to give away too much information about what I do professionally right now, but I have always worked in nonprofits and in education and with youth. So those are areas definitely close to my heart. And I think, you know what, that's good. We're just running a couple errands today. We're actually just gonna drop some food off for our in-laws, my in-laws, I should say. So I think I could use another layer of this and we're not doing a ton. I don't need it, but I want it. This is definitely a medium. I would say, I would, I'm gonna go ahead and say medium coverage foundation, but it's really buildable. I don't know if I've ever tried to build it to full, but it's definitely medium. I guess that could be a future video, building it up to full and how it looks. I will say it definitely looks more full coverage with a powder on top. And I usually use the RMS um, Unpowder powder. Okay, yeah, I'm more happy with that coverage. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do some concealer. All right, I'm experimenting with Beauty Counters concealer pen here. It is the Touch Up concealer pen. It is a click. There we go. So husband, kitty, job, Texas, those are the basics for me. Uh, something else I did wanna mention is kind of like my history and love affair with makeup. Uh, I would say the things that I love the most in this world, besides my kitty and my husband, is definitely probably makeup in the office um, and being outside. I love to be outside. But I've always been a makeup fanatic and I didn't know I was because 
So, you know, I'm a millennial, so, you know, that means we didn't always grow up with the internet. And so I definitely remember like not having the internet and I definitely remember like getting dial up. And then, so, you know, I kind of have been through that, the growth of our, what the internet is now. So I loved makeup, but there was like not a lot of ways to learn about it or know that there were other people like me out there. Cause uh, not too many of my friends wore a lot of makeup. I was like the only one who was super into it in high school. That's when I was allowed to wear it. Uh, so I remember waiting every month for my Seventeen magazine to come in and there was always like a section on makeup, like tips and tricks or like sometimes like there'd be like ads and stuff and it was all drugstores. So I would, you know, go to Walmart then and like stock up. Uh, later though, kind of when we got like a little bit, like a better computer and faster internet, I like discovered YouTube and I would watch Marlena's video, Makeup Geek. And this was like the very, very early days. I know a lot of what she did then was like, um, like how to get Jessica Simpson's eye look. And she was always using like mostly Mac products. And I don't know if it was some drugstore, but I would kind of watch her videos and take mental images of what she used. And then I would go to the drugstore and try to find what she was talking about. Cause I didn't even know where you got makeup that wasn't like from Walmart. I didn't know where else they sold makeup back then. Uh, you know, and back then you know, like probably had to be a makeup artist to really know. Uh, so that's what I was doing and I kind of forgot about YouTube for a few years then and started watching more in college. So I feel like it was in college when things were with YouTube were really taking off and when I realized there were people that were on YouTube like a lot and producing like a lot of content. And so that's when I, you know, kind of re really got into studying and learning about makeup and anyway, I'm definitely like a beauty geek and fanatic. What I'm doing down here is going in with the RMS Unpowder powder just to set things. So I've always been a makeup person and then like, you know, got super into Ulta and Sephora. And, you know, I was definitely really steeped in this world of traditional beauty. So I kind of wanted to explain like the reason I wanted to switch. And you know, there's like, there was like a, a few things. It was definitely a few things that kind of led up to me deciding like, you know, I have this big makeup collection, but I'm gonna use things up, declutter things, and then, replace it all and start from scratch. All right, so I'm gonna keep talking while I go ahead and switch to eyes here. I'm using the Ether Beauty Summer Solstice Palette. So in college, I went on a weight loss and kind of health journey and became more health conscious in general. And that's not who I was most of my life. I was like overweight most of my life and, um, you know, always kind of struggled with body image and overeating. Um, so in college, I just kind of turned things around and you know, that could be a whole other video by itself if you guys are interested. Um, but I kind of wanted to make a change in college and became health conscious. Um, I took like a food food class that was more about like the food system and how we get our food and that was really eye opening. So um, I've always been, and I say always, I guess for my adult life, I've been concerned with and into, you know, eating healthy and eating quality food with, you know, made and sourced from quality ingredients and made sustainably and um, things like that. So I've been into that for a while and kind of at least was aware of what was going into my body. You know, even if I was still eating, you know, not super healthy, I was at least aware of kind of what I was consuming and made conscious choices, I guess I should say. I was a very conscious consumer and am of uh, what I eat and things like that. So that's kind of how things were in my mid 20s until, you know, kind of out of nowhere. I, and I still don't know completely why all the way, but my hormones just changed completely. They did. I honestly never had skin that would break out until all of a sudden in my mid twenties, I had really painful cystic breakouts and I would get like that cystic acne all through here. And, um, I guess it was kind of a wake up call to me to kind of notice a little bit more of what my body was going through as far as like, um, this weird, like hormone change I went through. And I actually am still working with a doctor to fix my hormones, but I really couldn't get a doctor to kind of take me seriously and they would just kind of uh, prescribe me Accutane or things like that. Um, or at least that was what they just said, you know, if you're breaking out, then you just fix the breakout. But I was like, no, I don't, this isn't normally my body chemistry. I know something's up. 
Um, and you know, I just really recently also, that's part of my catalyst into this change, I finally found a doctor who listened to me and ran some tests and actually showed me what my hormones were doing. And I realized um, that, yeah, they weren't functioning the way that they should. And that's why my body was kind of going through all these really unpleasant things. I don't want to talk about it now, but we definitely could eventually if you guys are interested in. Um, yeah, so around the same time that I found this doctor, I actually had an outbreak of perioral dermatitis. So if you guys haven't heard about that, it's like a combination of acne and eczema and it kind of all happens around your mouth. So I had like raised scaly rashes all through here that were like flaky and itchy and red. That's kind of like the main thing about it is that, you know, you get these patches and they're just so red. So I went to a dermatologist and he kind of told me um, the thing with perioral derm is that it's so common that we don't really know what causes it. So he said it could be um, fluoride in my toothpaste, but I was using fluoride without toothpaste. He said it could be if I had just been on like antibiotics or steroids, which I hadn't. He said, then otherwise it's something that's coming into contact with your skin. And I think that was like the final wake up call for this clean beauty journey because I knew it could be any number of things that I was putting on my skin because I was always playing with makeup and skincare. I just think that was kind of the point where I guess with my other hormonal and health issues, doctors would kind of like say like, oh, this is what we think it is or well, maybe you should just try this. And I could say like, well, you know, I'm taking really good care of myself and I'm doing everything right. Um, so there's gotta be something else that's going on. Like what they were telling me just didn't feel right for my body based on how I took care of myself. Um, and you know, when I went to the dermatologist, I didn't really have that confidence in my care for my skin. And that was kind of the wake up call where I thought, you know, I will put so much care into what I put into my body, but I know that what you put on your skin is absorbed into your body and I'll, I'll put anything on my skin if I like it and if it's cheap, that was another thing. I love to find a deal. And so that was when I said, let me look into clean, natural, organic beauty. That was really it. So that was kind of like the catalyst. That was when I said like, okay, this is gonna maybe be hard for me, but I need to make a change. Um, and so what did I do? I came to YouTube. Uh, I love YouTube. I'm always on YouTube and you know, specifically I'm always watching makeup videos. I like to learn new applications. I like to stay up on the new releases. Um, uh, you know, and then there are just some, some YouTubers that I've been with for years now. And so even if I wasn't like into their release or what they were talking about, I just like them and I just like watching people do their makeup. Uh, so yeah, of course I needed to learn about makeup. So I came to YouTube to learn and I guess I was a little surprised because, you know, I started searching natural beauty, clean beauty, uh, you know, looking up like best clean beauty foundations, primers, things like that. Cause I always had a lot of luck finding those things on YouTube in the past. And you know, I could always find a YouTuber who, uh, kind of matched my skin tone or at least like had enough, uh, like got like a full vault, you know, and could show me the different shades and it made color matching easy. So I'm actually done with my um, eyes for now. They just need a little bit of eyeliner. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with brows. Um, anyway, I interrupted myself. Also, I'm a rambler and I vocally process. So I interrupt myself a lot, you've been warned. Anyway. This is from a beauty counter. It's their eye pencil. Um, but yeah, so I came to YouTube to learn all about clean beauty. And while there's a lot of great YouTubers here in this space who are bringing awareness and educating on this clean beauty world, I didn't see really anyone who looked like me. So, you know, since I first got on YouTube looking for, you know, information on clean beauty, I have since connected with some other YouTubers who are women of color, but that was actually really surprising to me that one, I had to dig for them and two, I just didn't see a lot of women of color in this clean beauty space. You know, I was coming from the world of like traditional beauty and there being like literally millions probably of uh, uh, makeup gurus and you could find anyone who kind of had like, you know, your same skin concerns or your same skin tone. And I was having trouble finding that 
And one, it was a little scary because I was used to always having, you know, a ton of information at my fingertips. And two, it, it was honestly a little, a little bit sad. And, you know, I was a little surprised at how personally I was taking that. Like, why isn't there anyone in this space who looks like me? I guess I really felt like at this point really convicted that one way I could do better for my health was to be more conscious of what I was putting onto my skin. And so I guess I was on like this new health journey and it just felt a little bit disheartening to like have what I saw as like a roadblock, a roadblock to me learning and continuing my health journey. You know, I was kind of saying that to my husband that, wow, I'm trying to switch out my makeup and I can't find anyone on the internet who looks like me so I can shade match. I can't talk and do uh, eyeliner at the same time, so I'm gonna do eyeliner and then come back. Okay, I am back. My eyeliner is totally uneven and the wings are terrible. And that is how you know that I did it to myself because I suck at eyeliner. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I was kind of talking to my husband about this and he had been telling me to start a YouTube channel for a long time and I just couldn't see myself in, you know, the, the makeup community space. But when he suggested it this time, I could see it. But even more than finally being able to picture myself doing it, I kind of felt like I have to do this. I felt like I cannot be the only one who is brown or tan and who is looking for representation in this space and not seeing it. You know, I had always honestly dreamed of having a YouTube channel. I just thought, you know, I, I loved that idea, but I just never could see myself doing it until I felt like if I didn't, it would be a disservice to others. And I don't wanna say like, say that to say like, I am the savior of clean beauty, cause I'm not, that's weird. I don't feel like that at all, but I just mean that I, could not be the only one who felt unrepresented. And if I could do something to maybe help other people feel seen in this space, and if I had that desire to, then I probably should do it. I'm gonna interrupt myself again. That was the Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions. And now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face. Um, where were we? Oh yeah, so that's why I'm here on YouTube. So I'm gonna interrupt myself. I realized I didn't tell you guys, I just went in with the Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions and now I'm gonna finish up the rest of my look. So I'm gonna finish up with the Lip Bars Minute Finish Face Palette and stay ready while I continue with my story here. Um, but you know, I think that's actually mostly it. That's why I wanted to start this YouTube channel. Um, I just kinda wanted to finish off by saying that I love makeup and I've been kind of in this makeup sphere you know, on my own for a while, years I'd say, but I am new to the clean beauty space and I feel like I've learned a lot in a short amount of time, but I also want this to be like a documentation of a journey. I want us to kind of start off new together, hopefully, and, you know, journey together and become more knowledgeable and familiar together. I definitely want this to be a space where I can help color match and swatch things for sure. But I also want this to be a community, hopefully, where we understand that growth is happening and that mistakes can happen and things can change, but we're just learning together. I think more than anything, I want this to be a space where we acknowledge that we are on a journey to using better products, more conscious products, cleaner products, you know, and I know there's no like definition of what is like a clean product and some people have a different standard than other people. And you know, there's like greenwashing where people saying like this product is really good for you or calling organic and it's not, things like that. Like I know that happens and you know, we're just gonna navigate it together. That's how I feel. I kind of want this to be a space where we are taking the intimidation out of learning from learning about new products or starting over and hopefully making it fun and doing it together. Um, that would be my hope for sure. And I always put too much of this blush on from the lip bar. So I'm just going to buff it out with a fluffy brush. 
Okay. And I think the last thing to do, guys, is just finish off with a little bit of highlighter, which is also in this palette. So that's kind of my hope, you guys. I definitely want to be doing this for a while. Um, I definitely hope it grows into something amazing. Um, and if it never grows, and, you know, my mom is the only one who watches them. Hi, mom. That's okay, too. Because I'm really excited about this. I'm excited about the clean beauty world and space. And I'm happy to be a part of it and hopefully encourage others to do the same. We are just going to finish off with my favorite lip products. It's the Burt Bees Lip Shimmer in Peony. This is lip care, but it's also super pretty. All right, you guys, I'm calling that look done and good. All right, y'all, so that is all I have for you today. Um, I hope that you got a little bit of a better sense of who I am and where I'm coming from and what I hope to accomplish. And I just wanna say that I really do see this as an opportunity to help other people and to serve you guys. So please let me know in the comments below what videos you would like to see from this channel or things that I can review for you or color swatch. Let me know, I want to help, that's why I am here. So if you liked this video and are excited to see more, then please give it a like and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. And that's all I have for y'all today. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.